for now, let's go downstairs, meet the boys, go get some breakfast, go get a car and drive to Dracula's castle in Transylvania. I'm going to suck your cock. <laughs> also, my early night in go to plan because I stayed up till 3am watching TikTok. I literally watched TikTok for five hours in a row, no breaks, constantly. And I loved every single minute of it. And I would do it all over again. But what it means is that I uh, super overslept. Going down. Uh, yeah, I super overslept. Um, Reggie was ringing me at quarter past eight this morning when we were supposed to all be meeting in the lobby at eight o'clock. So the boys are not going to be too happy with me because we're supposed to be setting off because it's a long drive. 8.45. I'm never, I'm always late, but I'm like trying my best not to be late. Ah, Louise, Louise, Louise. Good morning. How are you on this fine morning? Fine, probably. Very fine as well. Thank you so much. Oh, is Reg still up there? No. Yes, I'm not the last one. I'm not a piece of shit. I'm coming to the, uh, the breakfast to see if the food looks all right. Sausages look like they've been cooked with a candle. <laughs> um, oh God, I think it's going to have to be Mac and D's, Dad. That can't be real. Ooh. Good scrana hash brown. Huh? Ooh. Yeah, that's terrible there. One thing Reggie hates is wet willies. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, brother. Ah, uh, all feeling nice and refreshed. Yeah, you? <laughs> That's so much sleep. <laughs> I look so tired. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> oh, bless him. Right, we're figuring out uh, well, uh, what we're doing. Uh, we need to go get a car then, don't we? We need to go to the airport. Mate, for saying this is an official sixth company, this looks dodgy. <laughs> what is going on? Is this the office? Oh no, this is just a lost and found, I assume. Stick that on, no speeding fine. Yeah. Or his office is up the top of the right on. Oh, you're joking me. She's dropped us off here. There's... <laughs> There's a company there. Should we go to that one? You dropped it, dropped it. Huh? Drop that. Gay car. <laughs> um, they will rent me a car. It's £170 because you have to rent it for three days. We only want it for one day. So I'm not 100% sure. The thing is, if we go to the premium one upstairs, it's going to be 170 quid for bloody one day anyway. Oh. Yeah, six, six this month. Yeah, six. Let's go to six. Right, second company budget, same gap, same um, same story, Dan. Man's telling me 160 bucks for a bloody car, mate, for a day. I'm gonna laugh. Oh, oh, here. Yeah. Thank you, brother. All right, he's told me to come down to this. He says these guys have like smaller cars. Oh, sorry, Doc. Oh, thank you. Can I help you? Oh yes, I'm lucky to rent a car, but I'm looking at what's the minimum days. I only really want it for one day. Here's the trusty whiz up, Danny boy! Woo! Uh, lovely stuff. Listen, uh, I'll wait till he leaves actually, one sec. <laughs> right, listen, he says you've got no insurance. Brilliant. The maximum that I will have to pay if I crash is £400, which is the deposit, so sad. As long as I don't crash into anybody else, I assume. If I crash into somebody else, that might then be a problem. Just in case you're wondering, what does it look like in the countryside of Romania? There's nothing here, Dan. <laughs> There's a couple of forests. There's a couple of crap looking cars. And pretty much, that's about it. It's nothing special. It's gonna be nice though when we get up into the hills. And also, they have a massive bear population. 60% of Europe's bears are in Romania. And then most of the bears are in Transylvania, which is where we're going. So, hopefully we can go drop a couple of hello doggies on some wild bears. And all I have to do is run faster than one of these guys. And he's got a broken leg. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get away from the bear. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Can 
the funny angle. <laughs> no. Oh, I think it's really funny. <laughs> Reggie's having flashbacks to his no, motorbike she crash. Just got flashed, though. What, was she fit? <laughs> no, sure we oh, the speed camera. Yeah. <laughs> no, I honestly don't care. I'm never, ever going to come back to Romania. Right, we've just quickly stopped off. Have a look at the views on it, Dad. We are deep into the jungle, not the jungle, the woods. <laughs> We're deep into the woods. God, I can't cross this road. But I just saw the most terrifying, most awesome looking graveyard that I've ever seen. It's not something I thought I'd say. I mean, it's not as good as the one in Argentina, but it's different. Look at that. Craggy. Goes on and on and on. Ow! Jesus! Oh, it's caught with foot in the fence. Oh! <laughs> Mate, that's the biggest pile of leaves I've ever seen. <laughs> Sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is a toilet. Oh my God, yes. I was just about to say, we've only actually come to look at the toilets. Not look at the toilets. Go to the toilet. Please don't be locked. Please don't be locked. Please don't be locked. Oh, oh. oh there's no toilet roll. No, no, no. Mate, I really need a wee. Oh, I can't use someone else's pre-used toilet roll. I might have to use leaves. Oh, there's no toilet roll. <laughs> I, that's just what I said, actually. I'm gonna have to. Bro, there's literally poo in my boxes. I'm already pooing. <laughs> oh, there is toilet roll. It's here. I mean, some things in life will just always be funny, right? And one of those things is when, <laughs> when your mate is just about to get in the car, you start driving off, especially when he's got a bad leg. <laughs> you done? I'm messing about. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'd love to actually do it, but he literally has a splint on his leg. Poor oh. thing. Scratch what I said earlier about the horrible drive. It's actually really nice scenic drive. Are you enjoying it, Reginald? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's actually fire, <laughs> mate. This is a nice little... I feel like I'm driving to, I don't know, like Hogwarts or... I don't know to do a murder in the woods. Actually, didn't realise uh, I've actually got in the car with two absolute <laughs> wet wipes, Dad. Oh, 30, 30. Slow down, mate. We are going over 100. <laughs> it says 30. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Honestly. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was some Colin McRae. Okay, I'll stop. They, they don't actually seem like they're laughing about it. <laughs> Bloody hell. Trapped myself in my own car door. Right, we have arrived in Transylvania. Is this car still running? I took the key out and I pressed stop. It doesn't stop. There we go. Piece of junk. This is a really, really bad car. It's also got 150,000 miles on the clock. So, oh, kilometers. Right, the castle is over there somewhere. Look at this, mate. You know what? I was moaning, European cities, meh, 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 meh. Come out of the city then, for a start. I've never been anywhere like this. The beautiful autumn leaves rolling all over the hills. We've got lots of Nice of the, nice, nice, that's nice. That's a beautiful looking buildings, a very gothic look that they've got flowing on through the town. Also, every town that we drove through seems to be sponsored by Coca-Cola or Pepsi. Like every, every hotel sign made by Coke, every bus stop Coke um, or Pepsi. It was dead weird. I'll, ch I'll show you some more clips on the way back. Look, here we go. There's a shop here, Pepsi Fast Food. 
they seem to just be owned by the look and there's coca-cola coca-cola there coca-cola up there they seem to have sponsored the towns which is i've never seen anything like it i've seen a couple of signs for coke here and there do you know what i mean but anyway look how beautiful this is mate feel like i could get some really nice instagram pictures here i'm not going to um actually maybe i will maybe you should head over to my instagram hashtag lazy uh, and you can go and view it right where's the castle there it is danny boys there is where vladimir the impaler who was a murderer i believe i'm not sure i've not really looked into it uh he lived there um but it's also known as dracula's castle obviously dracula isn't real vampires aren't real and if you think they are please stop watching this channel just go and i don't know sacrifice a goat on the top of a hill or whatever you freak to do um, but yeah we are going to go up there should we have a little wander into the town bit first Let's get ourselves some dracula merch or something right there's a cute little market right cute, cute. they sell knives and guns <laughs> Toy. Oh, lighter. I thought it was, I was going to shoot my mate over there. He's demanding. No, but they've also got proper Rambos, mate. Look at that. I don't think that's even legal in the UK anymore, is it? It's a bloody part of the London gangster uniform nowadays, isn't it? Anyway, I'm not about to buy myself a knife um, because I can't be trusted with a knife. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I could be. That looks like something from CSGO. I'm not a nerd, bro. <laughs> see it. So it's good. So it's. <laughs> Let's see how much it costs to go into Dracula's castle, Dan. Seventy. It's not bad. It's about fourteen quid or something, I think. Anyway, okay. I've paid the extra. I've paid an extra ten quid. Um, oh my god! I'm gonna run out of memory on my memory card. No. Okay, I've paid an extra £12 on top of the ticket price because we're going to go to the Torture Museum, which sounds cool. We've also paid for the Time Tunnel. Doesn't sound so cool, I know, but hopefully it's going to be awesome. And I'm hoping it's going to be a cool view because I'm pretty sure that is on the top of like a mountain. This could be a proper cool thing. Or it'll be a bit boring, but no, no, there's only one way to find out, Danny Boy. So come along, and if you've not hit the subscribe button, press that so hard now that you might break your fingernail, and then smash the like button, and of course, smash the comments. So you know what? It's nice to do something different. Obviously, I'm always doing like jet skis, slums, pints. Pints, yeah. It's nice to do something a little bit different, a little bit. I mean, not, not sure if we can call it cultural. But, uh, <laughs> different. We'll go with different. Anyway, right, so they've got all the old people I think that used to live here, or I'm not sure. He doesn't look like a real person. That's, that's and that's Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. That's bad, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, not surprised. <laughs> he killed everyone. He obviously got no bitches. Work our way through. It's gonna be lots of stairs, so lots of waiting for Reg. But I don't know if I don't know what I might have a quick Google quickly to see what about this castle and I can maybe educate you a little bit. <laughs> right, this is all the information you're gonna get. It was built in 1377, so about 800 years ago, and it was built by the Saxons. We all know the Saxons, don't we? Saxon five was it? I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> look at this gaff, mate. This place is bloody lovely. Oh! Oh, that's werewolves, that's not vampires. <laughs> Can't stop me. Oh, stop. Someone's on the floor. Someone's what? on the floor. Where? Oh, nice. So, see that flam? Oh. Are you showing me? And we're basically in a museum, so I'm not going to show you too much, but there's a knife. Think of all the blood spilled in these castles. Uh, no, I think this is actually. Not ready. Oh, bit of a carby diet they had back in the day then. All right, let's have a little look out of the window. This is what they used to look at when they looked down on all the common people. They were rolling over. Oh no! I can imagine just banging someone here. What a view!
Let's do that again, let's do that again. It's a, no, it's all just a scam. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real, like, it's, it's not old at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you're telling me that window's old? Because this window's not old. The this whole, be the a whole thing, look. We've got double glazing here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Red thinks it's a conspiracy. <laughs> Oh. In it, this wood, you think that wood's a thousand years old, mate? You're having a laugh. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, not, it is. Those stones are. Obviously, yeah, it's been, the left of the it's been wild, refurbed, right? mate. It's been refurbed. I'm not saying it's got a B&Q kitchen in it, but it's definitely had a bit of a, it's better, definitely had a bit of TLC on it. I mean, it would have all looked like this. Just like this raw back stuff. Yeah. We'll see if you can get a bit off. I like to take a bit of castles <laughs> over. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. <laughs> Have you seen me with a rock in my pocket later? I definitely didn't get it off the wall. <laughs> Here we go, Dan. This is the views we've been looking for. <sighs> is it just me that's got a boner? <laughs> God, <laughs> that, was, that was embarrassing. Um, yeah, sick though. Nice little view, that is, mate. I mean, looking out into the courtyards and all your jesters and stuff down there. I don't know if that's the, the era of this castle, I'm not sure. Um, but it looks pretty bloody cool, doesn't it? Where's the Dracula part of it, though? It's supposed to be Dracula's castle. I've not seen any references. Vlad Baylor is Dracula. That's who it was based on. But Bram no, he's a vampire, mate. Yeah, he right. drank people's blood. <laughs> There's <laughs> no reference. Irish novelist that came up with him. <laughs> Well, that's not the story I bloody read. I read he's a vampire and he's drinking blood. And I thought there'd be loads of vampires and stuff here. Like people in cosplay and like... I told you it's fake. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> Dracula's not real, but the castle... That's pretty sick. It's that's a real the, castle. That's the coolest thing I've seen. What is it? Oh, it's called what? Candleworks. Oh, that's pretty gross, mate. That's pretty sick. looks like my sock under the bed. <laughs> 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 that's it's a weird, like, build, the way that it's, like, all structured. Yeah, shit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> As in, like, you know how now we build nice square houses, so you've got room, 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 room. Over here, they're like, yeah, let's put a room over here, room over here, room over here. And put loads of wonky staircases to get up to it. And instead of a room, we'll have a, a Miranda, a balcony. Oh, here we go. No, I am very, very disappointed about the lack of uh, vampire references. <laughs> I literally drove three hours. <laughs> Not one bit of blood. <laughs> Bloody Halloween as well, Dan. Oh, wow. Right, he's, he's, another part of his logic is that it's not real. <laughs> it's, it doesn't, doesn't smell. It doesn't smell. So, uh, so how old do you think this castle is? It's not that old, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, it's yeah. recently yeah. built by the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> by the looks of it? Oh, yeah. The, Got the new Classic mo modern architecture going on here. <laughs> new build grant and all. <laughs> yeah, you've got, a, you've got the government scheme to bloody put your mortgage down. Here we go. Hey, is that Dracula? Or is that a, a monster? I'm not sure. Looks like near the weekend out. <laughs> all right, let's uh, further on down into the castle, Dan. There's obviously lots of... Ah! <laughs> sure, got me that. I thought it was a real person. I mean, it's oh, it's very peculiar, isn't it? I can understand where his logic of it's not real. Obviously, it's real. We're not idiots. He might be, but um, like this is obviously all a facade. You know what I mean? That table's not there. Um, but I don't know. It's cool. If you're a kid, it'd be cool. But <laughs> Thirty years old, mate. <laughs> Where's the pub? <laughs> let's get back to the let's get back to the jet skis and the pine tree. <laughs> Look, it's, it's just so much stairs. You could have had so many more buildings. You could have had so many more rooms. But instead, they just love stairs and bloody um, hallways. And it's just all, it's all stairs. <laughs> it's only about three rooms in the old bloody gaff. It's probably only a four bed, two bath. <laughs> Here we go, a couple of rooms. Nothing in it. Nah, it's actually cool. I'm actually enjoying myself. Reg is bringing me down. He's negging me out. <laughs> Look at that. That is sick, mate. That's a cool little view that is, Dan. Right, now this is cool. If it's real. Look at it. Look at that. Is that real? Plastic. <laughs> Alibaba, that. Uh, Timu. Looks like a bloody McDonald's toy. <laughs> that's not real. That's not gold, is it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he sounded like the neighbour off Friday night dinner. No. <laughs> Shalom. 
Well, this is the king's bedroom. Any candles in there? Any candles? Cameras. Oh, camera light. No, no, block the camera on my crutch. <laughs> I have a tug on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Alright. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is this place real? Is it refurb? Did Dracula really live here? Oh, no. 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 Is this just a tourist attraction? Yes. It's just a scam. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> oh bless her! But more staircases, more alleyways. Crikey! Right, I'm having a good time anyway. <laughs> so, let's have a look. Oh, there's a well. I want. To, I've always wanted to fall down a well. A childhood dream of mine, um, and that this could now be a possibility because there's people around that will be able to help me. Oh, I can't even do that stairs. Of course, there's more stairs. More stairs, more alleyways. <laughs> Don't think that's deep enough for me to jump in. Someone's dropped some money in there. Yeah, hey, Reg, you can get your bloody f your um, you can get your ticket prize back. Just climb in this well. I'm not assuming that's obviously make a wish. Throw it in the well. What? When it's only this deep <laughs> and there's no water in it, it doesn't feel very Make-A-Wish, does it? Right, right we yeah. are in the torture museum. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Looks like he's been smoking the zoinks, mate. <laughs> Man's been on the Scooby Snacks. He's bloody zoinked out his head. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, then, ah, look, so it actually hurt. Yeah. So this is like the torture chamber. Get in there. You can't show it, I would literally die. Try, try, try. Oh, God. Ah, that's what I deserve. <laughs> Let me out, though. No. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it actually stabs you in the back. Sorry. You know, they're massive spikes <laughs> actually stab you. Oh, yeah, no jokes. Mate. Spikes, Mate, think of the pain wank if you had one in there. <laughs> like, like sometimes, you ever watch them videos, the JOIs? Well, that's quite. You ever watch JOIs? <laughs> yeah. And then sometimes they're like, yeah, smack your balls, smack your balls. How do you get in there? It's place. good. I actually think it's quite nice. It's not nice. Well, let's not probably put that in the video. I know you've got these bits to cross your legs. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what it does. It pushes you back. Oh, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. This bloody room's a torture. Ah, oh, dead joke. Shut up. All right, this, oh, this will, like, crush you. That's it? just when you're getting bent up. Mate, this looks literally like a sex museum. <laughs> Hold that. <laughs> Daddy, chill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, this is kinky, actually. It's <laughs> sort of vibe, yeah? Well, I thought this was a torture museum, not a bloody <laughs> sex <laughs> museum. <laughs> mate. It's What do you reckon that's for? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> you tell me this isn't a sex toy. <laughs> it's stuck. Oh, mate, this place is bloody kinky. What's, what job is this for? You know your stuff. Put your old boy in. It's a bloody spanking toy, <laughs> mate. <laughs> when you bent over there. <laughs> mate, they've literally got a gimp mask on the wall, bro. A little piggy gimp mask. This is not a torture museum, is it? Seriously, is this actually legit? I mean, doing this, this is mental. Imagine if they actually did this. Did they? Why would they torture people, though? Like, what would they be torturing people for? Yes! More sex equipment, bro. There's not even any torture element to it. It's literally just getting tied up and sexy. Oh my god, look at that! Straight up his jacks he made! Oh my god! So this is essentially a massive dangerous dildo. <laughs> oh. 
You put on the wheel. Oh my god. Whoa. Paid. Another another reason that this is a sax museum. There's some clamps. I wonder which body part they're clamping. Nipple clamps. There's literally nipple clamps, bro. Anyone else getting a bit aroused in this room? <laughs> yeah, I've got a rock on. I've got a bloody <laughs> rod on that. Hello, doggy. You look like a good boy, don't you? Yeah. Hey, the best boy. Ready. Ooh. Hey, big fluffy boy. Yes. You're a good boy. <laughs> good boy. Yeah, have fun. There was a bit of bacon butty there for you, Dad. I saw you, mate. Oh god, you know the food's bad and the stray dogs don't want to eat. <laughs> you can only get the stuff out. Look okay. Here you go. Look okay. Where's it gone? It's gone on the other side. Nothing's gone off with the bottom. Oh, he doesn't even want the sausage! <laughs> no! That was well funny. <laughs> oh. No, he does, he does actually want it. <laughs> good boy! You good boy! Yes, you are! Yes, you are. You're a good boy. Let me strike you when you're eating. You're a good boy. Hello, doggy. Hello, doggy merch coming out very, very soon. Very soon, Dan. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. Reggie's still scared of dogs. No, yeah. Me and Reggie have sure. both been bit by rabies dogs. Rabies, let's go. Hey, you got rabies. Yeah, rabies. You got rabies. Rabies room. <laughs> right. I'm going to go to the pub for a pint of the non alcoholic beer. Because once again, I'm in a bloody country that has strict alcohol driving laws, zero milligrams in your blood. I think, to be honest, I've probably got more than that at any given point, but we're not going to risk it. We're not going to have a pint, so I'm going to get myself a pint of non alcoholic. Oh, big pause, isn't it? Oh, he's actually coming with us. Go on, Reg. Go on, Reg, go to the pub. Hey, not a bad little boozer here. They've got all the nice Halloween decorations on. Still no Dracula related stuff, which is insane. Why are they not dropping bare Dracula merch, bare uh, fake uh, teeth and stuff? I have no idea. But anyway, I, w I think that was definitely worth the drive. I really enjoyed it. What do you think, Reg? Well, he thought it was a scam, so. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, fellas. Enjoy your nice alcoholic bites, and I'll have my. I don't even know what it was, mate. It doesn't taste too bad. Right, before we leave, we are going to quickly get a scran. We were, the plan was to stay in Transylvania, but our whole, our whole, what's his name? Cattle, <laughs> cattle, cattle, whatever his stupid bloody Irish name is. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> um, he's flight tomorrow. Uh, and we're not sure what we're doing yet. We might leave as well, to be honest, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, he's got flight tomorrow, so rather than us get flipping on the ale here and then have to drive back at seven in the morning hungover. Um, that sounds awful, dreadful, horrible, disgusting, and absolutely the last thing that I want to do on this planet. So we're probably gonna set that off, drive down back to Bucharest today, and get on a couple of the Swifties down, you know what I'm saying? The old dust The old dusties, chub, bit of the angel piss, let's go. And here we are, sports fans. The doughiest, thickest looking pizza in all of Barcelona. Where are we? Bucharest. Bucharest. <laughs> With water. I'm never driving anywhere ever again. Right. Do you want a food review? No. <laughs> On to the next clip. This is not a food, review, not a food review channel. <laughs> right, the road to Bucharest begins. Um, Right, Reggie's drive sensibly. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure the road that we went down, it drove down in Top Gear. So I feel like it would be a disservice to not drive like a bloody lunatic. Are you going on the back, Sandra? I'm talking about how fast I'm going to drive when I go back to Bucharest. This is what I'm saying. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> My man's going to cry his eyes out, the little bitch. If you want to roll with the big dogs, you got to be prepared to live life on the edge. One minute, we could be skied down a mountain on a bin lid. The next minute, we could be flipped upside down in an Albanian mountain. Where are we? Serbia. <coughs> no, we're not. What country are we in? <laughs> Romania. Rom <laughs> we could be skidding down the road on the roof of an Albanian car. Not an Albanian well, car. Actually, a Romanian car in Romania. Shut up. Let's go and drive. Cheer. We're back. We are back at the hotel. What are we doing tonight? 
Nice drinker. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. One second, gang. Uh, listen, right, here's the plan of attack. We're going to go and sink as many bears as we can because Carhol here, uh, Carhol, Carhol, Carhol. Uh, still. Go on, say it again. Well, on, say it there. slow. Carhol. 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 Fuck, I said that. He's lying. I think he's a big wind up, isn't it? Anyway, Reg is bloody scared of driving. No, I'm not scared of driving, I'm scared of his driving. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're back. So, cut to us with pints in our hands. This is gonna get out of hand, Dan. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I'm a rapid. <laughs> The merch is now officially out. If you go to the link in this description, you can go and buy yourselves or your partners or your loved ones or your kids or your mom or your dad or your gran the greatest Christmas presents of all time. You can get yourself a mug or a t-shirt. We've got the two designs. We've got a few different colors on each design. Hope you enjoy it. I've spent a lot of time bloody perfecting the Hello Doggy one and the Mr. Miyagi one. So let me know what you think. Well, don't let me know what you think. Buy them, buy them all. So the other day I come to a bar, right, and they ran out of beer and they had no toilet and I said it was the worst bar I've ever been to. <laughs> I just spilled beer all over the pool table. Well, I'm back. We're officially back and we're ready to do it all. Oh, you made it way worse. <laughs> no, that's not good. <laughs> and we're ready to do it all over again. Tequila! No, I don't know if I can eat tequila. Jaeger? She's last day! Jaeger's alright. She's last day today. Wait, a bit of orange? A bit of orange, a bit of orange. A wee orange, alright. Can you say, um. A wee orange, bastard. What's a, a, a tongue twister? <laughs> <laughs>